Briggs and Stratton was founded in 1908 by Stephen Foster Briggs and Harold M. Stratton. Briggs was born in Watertown, South Dakota on December 4th, 1885. Stratton was born in Wisconsin on February 26, 1914. Briggs went to went to college, and his teacher knew knew to he wanted to start a company, so he introduced him to Stratton. Before Briggs met Stratton, he had built his six-cylinder, two-stroke engine. They together made the cheapest car at the time, the Flyer, which cost a hundred and fifty dollars. When the war broke out uh, and America needed generators, Briggs and Stratton's built generators for the military. After the war, many the many men who fa fought in the war were going home to start families. And more homes were being built, so more lawns were needed for the houses. <laughs> As we know, if grass gets tall when you don't cut it. So Briggs and Stratton saw a chance and started making lawnmowers. They also, at the, in 1953, they started making them out of aluminum. They sold well for a long time, but other manufacturers were starting to outsell them. And today, they're kind of in the red in the stonks. You can get a Predator 6.5 horsepower engine for 120 bucks. And on sale, ninety-nine dollars. Brakes and Stratton engine it will cost you a hundred more dollars, and produces only six horsepower. So there's definitely a difference in horsepower, and they just simply had to ca ca pay more to stay alive. And they're in the red now. So who knows? Do will there be a Brakes and Stratton in the future? If you think there is like the video. If you don't think there will be, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.